Good afternoon, the subcommittee will come to order. Today we are marking up five bills, HR 569, HR 570, HR 5, or excuse me, HR 671, HR 894, HR 1405, and HR 569 and 570 and 894 will be marked up as discussed at the legislative hearing um, held on April 16, 2013, and HRs 671 and 1405 include amendments in the nature of substitute. I will be supporting each of these bills in accordance with committee rules and staff. Has informal cost, according to committee, in accordance with committee rules, staff has informal cost estimates from the Congressional Budget Office on each of these bills and marking up today. On April 16th here in 2013, we heard testimony on all of these bills. I believe that all the legislation our markup agenda today has been crafted to address the needs of our veterans while remaining fiscally responsible. And I will fiscally responsible. And I would like to thank the uh, ranking member, Ms. Titus, for working with me and bringing these bills forward. The amendment in the nature of substitute to HR 671, the Ruth Moore Act of 2013, revises the text of the bill such that the uh, Evidentiary re requirements discussed would uh, be put in place by VA through the regulatory process rather than amending Title 38 of the uh, United States Code. The amendments for the nature, amendment in the nature of a substitute for HR 1405 consolidates the bill, this bill with HR 679 and HR 733. The text of HR 1405, which in involves as a standardized appeals form has been clarified to show that it is it refers to a notice of disagreement similarly the text of the access to veterans benefits improvement act has been altered to require written consent from the veteran and uh, from the veteran and to remove congressional caseworkers from the list of covered employees we have worked with the VA and several veteran service organizations to ensure these bills are sound and meet the needs of our veterans in several ways while allowing the greatest amount of efficiency possible. I hope the members will join me in reporting favorably to the full, reporting them favorably to the full committee. And at this time, I'd like to recognize the ranking member, Ms. Titus, for any remarks she might have. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for holding today's markup. Uh, I strongly support several of the bills that are before us today, especially the Disability Compensation COLA bills, H.R. 569 and H.R. 570, which we work together on, Mr. Chairman. I also strongly support the next bill, H.R. 671, which is the Ruth Moore Act of 2013, introduced by Ms. Pingree of Maine. I will offer an amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 671, which will make changes to the reporting language and improve the bill, as you uh, pointed out. Primarily, we'll be requiring the VA to update their regulations in regard to military sexual trauma. We believe these are much outdated and do not reflect the needs of those who have lived through this awful experience. We have to do better, and I think this is a step in the right direction. Next on the agenda is H.R. 894, the fiduciary legislation introduced by Representative Johnson of Ohio. I'm supportive of this language as well because it would better serve our most at-risk veterans. Our last bill is my bill, H.R. 1405, which would improve and speed up the appeals process by requiring that the VA appeals form which should be included with a notice of decision letter instead of waiting for a veteran to exercise his or her appeal rights before sending the form to the veteran. This makes it easier for veterans to file an appeal and will provide better customer service to those veterans already struggling with huge delays and endless bureaucracy. I thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for including it in today's markup, and I appreciate that we work together on the legislation. There will be an amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 1405 to include language from two other bills. 
H.R. 679, the Honor America's Guards Reserves Retirees Act that was introduced by Representative Walls of Minnesota, as well as your bill, Mr. Chairman, H.R. 733, the Access to Veterans Benefits Improvement Act. I understand that this amendment also includes the suggestions from the veteran service organizations who reported at our hearing for better clarification, and I thank them for that input. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I believe that we have a series of excellent bills before us today that will help our veterans address the backlog and uh, move this important policy area forward. So I look forward to seeing it move from this committee to the full committee. I want to thank you and your staff for working closely with us on these measures and for the bipartisan spirit that has guided this subcommittee since we first began the session of Congress a few months ago. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you, Ms. Titus. Um, all members, all member staffs have been provided copies and briefed on the bills before us. With that, uh, I now call up H.R. 569, the annual Veterans Cost of Living Adjustment Act of 2013. The uh, clerk shall report. H.R. 569, to increase effective as December 1, 2013, the rates of compensation for veterans. The bill was circulated in advance and pursuant to committee rules without ejecting the first reading is disposed with. Um, is there any discussion on H.R. 569? Since there are no amendments that were timely filed, the question now occurs on passage of 569. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and I now recognize the ranking member, Ms. Titus, for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move that the bill H.R. 569 be forwarded favorably to the full committee. There is a motion to favorably forward H.R. 569 to the full committee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. H.R. 569 is favorably forwarded to the full committee. I now call, call up H.R. 570, the American Heroes COLA Act, and the clerk shall report. H.R. 570 to amend Title 38, United States Code, to provide for annual cost of living adjustments to be made automatically by law each year in the rates of disability compensation for veterans with service connected. The bill was circulated in advance pursuant to the committee rules. <laughs> pursuant to the committee rules without objection, the first reading will be dispensed with. Is there any further discussion? Is there any discussion on the HR 570? Since there are no amendments that were timely filed, the question now occurs on passage of HR 570. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and I now recognize Ms. Titus for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I now move that the bill H.R. 570 be forwarded favorably to the full committee. There is a motion to favorably for forward H.R. 570 to the full committee. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and H.R. 570 is favorably forwarded to the full committee. I now call up H.R. 671. The clerk shall report. H.R. 671, to amend Title 38, United States Code, to improve the disability compensation evaluation procedure of the Secretary of Veterans Affairs for veterans. The bill was circulated in advance and pursuant to committee rules. Without objection, the first reading will be dispensed with. The bill is now open for amendment and at any point, and I have an amendment of the nature of substitute at the desk, and the clerk shall report. Amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 671 offered by Ms. Titus of Nevada. I ask unanimous consent that further reading of the amendment in the nature of a substitute being be dispensed with. Hearing no objections, so ordered. The amendment in the nature of a substitute which was offered by Ms. Titus would modify the original text of the bill such that the change in the evidentiary standards would be held by regulation rather than statute. Is there any more discussion on the amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 671? Since there are no other amendments that were timely filed, the question now occurs on the amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 671. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Is there any more discussion on the bill? Hearing none, the question now occurs on the bill, H.R. 671, as amended. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, no. The ayes have it, and I now recognize Ms. Titus for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move that the bill, H.R. 671, as amended, be forwarded favorably to the full committee. 
There's a motion to favorably forward the bill. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and H.R. 671, as amended, is favorably forwarded to the full committee. I now call up H.R. 894, the Fiduciary Reform Act. The clerk shall report. H.R. 894, to amend Title 38, United States Code, to improve the supervision of fiduciaries of veterans under the laws administered by the Secretary of Veterans. The bill was circulated in advance of pursuant to committee rules. Without objection, the first reading is dispensed with. Is there any discussion on H.R. 894? Ms. McLeod? I know that we're trying to um, make sure that the fiduciaries uh, represent the veterans, but will this in fact hurt family members that act as fiduciaries? Hurt them in what? In what? Well, if, if, they're, if they're appointed as fiduciaries and somebody says that they're not doing it correctly, will it, will it in fact hurt them? Hmm. Lauren, would you uh, please respond to that question? Sure. Um, Congresswoman, the bill is in the form as has passed out of the House previously. Mm -hmm. It has been um, vetted and uh, put together with input from VSOs, from family fiduciary caregivers, as well as from the VA. From VA. Mm -hmm. um, at this time, it's in that form. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Since there were no amendments that were timely filed, the question now occurs on passage of H.R. 894. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and I now recognize Ms. Titus for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move that the bill, H.R. 894, be forwarded favorably to the full committee. There is a motion to favorably forward H.R. 894 to the full committee. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and H.R. 894 is favorably forwarded to the full committee. I now call up H.R. 1405. The clerk shall report. H.R. 1405, to amend Title 38, United States Code, to require the Secretary of Veterans Affairs to include an appeals form in any notice of decision issued for the denial of a benefit sought. The bill was circulated in advance pursuant to committee rules. Without objection, the first reading is dispensed with. The bill is now open for amendment at any point, and I have an amendment of, in the nature of a substitute that was offered by Ms. Titus at the desk, and the clerk, the clerk will report. Amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 14. I ask unanimous consent that further reading the amendment in the nature of a substitute being to be dispensed with. Hearing no objections, so ordered. This amendment in the nature of a substitute would modify the original text of the bill to clarify that the standardized appeal, appeal form being referred to is for the notice of disagreement and clarifies that several privacy con concerns regarding the improvement to Veterans Benefit Act, including requiring written approval from the veterans before any case specific information is accessed and removing congressional case, for, case workers from the list of covered employees. Is there any more discussion on the amendment in the nature of a substitute to HR 1405? Since there were no other amendments that were timely filed, the question now occurs on the amendment in the nature, in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 1405. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those no. All opposed no. The ayes have it. Is there any for more discussion on the bill? Hearing none, the question now occurs on the bill, H.R. 1405 as amended. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no. The ayes have it, and I now recognize Ms. Titus for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move that the bill, H.R. 1405, as amended, be forwarded favorably to the full committee. There is a motion to favorably forward the bill. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and H.R. 1405, as amended, is favorably forwarded to the full committee. Summarizing today's votes, the subcommittee has voted to forward HR 569, HR 7, or excuse me, HR 570, HR 671, as amended, HR 894, and HR 1405, as amended, favorably to the full committee. I ask unanimous consent that the committee staff be authorized to make technical, clerical, and conforming changes to bills favorably forwarded today. Hear no objection. So ordered. Thank the members for their attendance today, and this subcommittee is adjourned.